to show you how to make the basic uh, sandwich uh, bread recipe and I'll be using um, this uh, King Arthur's flour, all-purpose flour and to begin with I'm going to measure three cups of flour. You would only you start with three cups because you don't want it to be too much at the beginning and you can always add later so, so level that two three and what you should do is always like have a cup ready when you need it okay so we're going to start with the dry ingredients and I'm going to add my um, sugar which is um, two tablespoons of sugar and then I add my two tablespoons of yeast to the sugar now why add sugar to the yeast it acts like a food for the yeast so it's really good to have that Okay, I'll be adding also a half a cup of um, milk powder and sometimes you don't have milk powder so you can add just a regular whole milk. So I'm going to add that and to that I'm going to add my two tablespoons of room temperature butter. This is to uh, cut it this way. Okay, it's going to be a little bit of lumps and that's normal. Okay. I use the unsalted butter. Okay. There you go. So, I have in my hand, it's called, you've never seen this probably, a Danish tool whisk. And it's really nice to have this so you can um, mix your dough easier and you can see how it's going to separate and look like a gluten, you will show the gluten part of it. So I'm going to add to this um, a warm temperature water, two cups, and I kind of measured it and it said like to be less than 115 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is so slowly. best part of each uh, whisk but you can see it easier separate This way, so you can see how it's separating, and it's okay to see the butter in clumps, and it's just gonna melt. Okay, so they said this recipe is like about um, five to six cups of flour. So, depending on what your dough looks like, you just add and sprinkle flour gently. So. It. I'm going to add another cup. So go oh, this. I love this. It's my first time using this, and I just saw this on uh, the network of King Arthur um, baking. So you can see how it's separating. I'll add more. That's my four cups. how 
it's trying to suck me. Four cups. Once it uh, it acts like it's together like a ball, then you know you don't have enough. So I'm gonna add another cup, five. Gentle. So mix it. This is what they call the basic one on one baking. So as you can see it's starting to build like a gluten texture texture. So mix it all. This is my fifth cup. Usually by then you'll see that uh, your dough is starting to form. See? So like this. We're gonna see how it looks. I'm gonna use my hand. And I said to flour your hand, the palm of your hand, so it won't stick. This and just mix it and see how it's looking. If it's holding up, you see, yeah, I think it's starting to form. I might have, you can see that it's still. Um, sticking to my fingers and so you might need like probably a fourth of a cup and sprinkle it and see if this be enough to hold it so that was like five and one fourth so this said go to five to six cups Let's see how it goes okay Okay. He said to add a little bit of flour on your board, not too much. So I'm gonna lift this up and put this aside so you can see how I need. So they said to use the palm of your hand, make sure you hand it on flour so it won't stick, and then so you like flop it and down, quarter turn, down, quarter turn, down, quarter turn, roll. See, I can see now it's consistency. Okay, I need a little bit more flour. <laughs> My dog is complaining. So I want to be in the picture. So, so you like used to like flip it, flop it, and bring it and roll it. Okay. Let's see. Now you don't want this flour in your dough. This kind of flour where you want it to be smooth. So get that out. Get a little bit. Okay. Roll. Quarter. Roll. And like you can see on what I'm rolling, you can see that it's still separating. So it's about takes about seven minutes to knead until it's the right consistency. 
are my head. Okay. You'll be able to tell. You see how it's still separating? You're not quite done. And we might have to add a bit more. So it took me about seven to eight minutes to knead this dough. And you want to make sure that there's, it's, there's no hole when you're stretching it. So I'm going to put it in my bowl. Take that out. And I'm going to spray this. Or you could use oil. So you have this so it won't stick. Then you go. So you let this rise for an hour. And we will cover this with saran wrap or warm towel. Make sure there's no draft. And just to put a little spray on top so that when it rises, it doesn't stick to your. So I'm going to put this aside and let it rise for an hour, and we'll be back. Hello, everyone. I'm back. So we got this to rise for like an hour, and as you see, it's like it's like a pillow top. So we're going to put it on a large surface, just a little bit. A little bit. Okay. So I have put the prison dough and I'm gonna fold it like an envelope and press it. I've got it around and uh, do the same. Okay. And then you fold it in half. It looks good. See? And uh, this is going to be two loaves, so we're going to cut it right here. Cut it in half. Use this for your pizza dough, or you could use this for cinnamon, whatever. So, put it in half, and then put it back here, and just press it. Okay, now I'm going to spray my pen, so it won't stick. So, I'm going to put it on the pan, see, here, and then you press it, so it will evenly rise for the second time, okay, and uh, I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. So, go half, press, yeah, okay, all right, okay, looks like we're going to be in business, I'll put it here. Just press it so it will evenly rise. It won't have any holes. Let's see, this is my first time trying this recipe. I normally will make my multi-grain honey wheat bread 
That'll be tomorrow. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is let it rise one more time and about 30 minutes and we'll be back. So what you want to do is like uh, do um, a dome look and not more than a half inch uh, rice because if you make it too bit too high up it is just going to collapse. So now I am going to put this in my 375 uh, preheated oven for 30 to 40 minutes. So I'll be back to show you the finished product.